Across the developing world, open-air markets and cross-border trades are the cornerstones of retail trade. These vibrant subsectors provide essential goods and services, ensure sustainable livelihoods for women, and support their families. However, women traders in these subsectors struggle to scale their businesses due to inaccessible, inconvenient, and expensive credit. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation engaged MSC to research and address these challenges through suitable digital financial products in partnership with leading financial service providers. Our recent work with Equity Bank builds off our rich 20-year history of product development, where we started with its customers in its branches and with staff to understand how it is that women open air and cross-border traders access products and services, what's missing and what we need to do differently. We learned during the research that women traders heavily rely on cash transactions. This reliance on cash exposes them to theft, inefficiencies in processing transactions, losses due to differing exchange rates, counterfeit currency, and difficulty in managing their cash flows. Mara ya kwanza wakati tulikuwa tunauza sama kidogo kidogo tulikuwa tunapewa fake money. Unapata mtu amekusabilia pesa amekuwekea fake money. Alafu pia pesa kupotea ya pesa ilikuwa mingi sana sababu ukibeba pesa kwa mwili mara mtu amekupora umeweka bag chini mara mtu amechukua alafu long distance kubeba pesa pia ilikuwa inatuari sana kwa sababu kubeba pesa kutoka kwa inchi ya nje mpaka hapa Kenya ilikuwa ni hatari kwetu na maisha yetu informed by our work equity bank assessed each product suit and designed the star 247 hash service that allows women traders to open accounts access credit save and make payment. With women open air traders, we learned that they have specific liquidity challenges that the bank can address through unique products and services that already exist but can be better positioned. Through consultations with the bank, we developed its Star 247 hash solution that caters for these needs. For women cross border traders, we worked with the bank to design a product that allows women to safely and conveniently send money across the border in a way that is convenient to them comfortable and easy for them to access. This is the inter-country product. Based on our current strategy, where we are focusing on onboarding 100 million customers, we realized that we cannot be able to serve them using our traditional products. That is the banking hall. So we came up with a system called Star 247 Hash. If using this Star 247 Hash on all the platforms, you can be able to open an account, you can be able to borrow, you can also be able to save, because it will give you a bank account that is live, you can be able to transact with it. Today, the Star 247 Hash and the Intercountry product have transformed the landscape for women traders in open-air markets and cross-border trade. Kulikuwa na insecurity mingi sana. Unapata mnavamiwa from nowhere, but tangu nianze kutumia hiyo mtandao utapata nimeuza vile mnaona sasa hii sukari niko nauza but i don't have cash with me niko tu na pesa mteja anaweka kwa sim na confirm sasa hiyo juni nyepesi utajua sasa hiyo kama pesa imeshaingia kwa account alafu na release mzigo ina, inaenda imefanya pia kazi ikuwe nyepesi kwa sina saa kwenda kupanga line kwa bank at nimebebana na cash naenda ku deposit We've seen women that have interacted with Star 247 formally being able to one, access financial services and through access to financial services, which we commonly know as inclusivity, through inclusivity, it has made these women be able to qualify for other services that are offered by the banking institution. What services am I talking about? One, uh, they are able to get savings products through Star 247 hash. Two, they are able to get credit facilities, which has grown their businesses. The expansion of digital financial inclusion for women traders in open-air markets and cross-border trade is vital for these women to achieve lasting economic empowerment. This expansion ensures they continue to benefit from the advancements in financial technology and grow their businesses sustainably.
most women in open air market and cross border traders um really need require training to be able to use interfaces that offer digital financial services so this training will help them uh, be able to make payments it will help them be able to buy their their goods and also operate in their day to day business activities despite all these advancements women traders in open air markets and cross border trades still need more support beyond access to digital financial services zaidi ya mabanks kutuelimisha kuhusu pesa ningeomba pia wakuja watuelimishe kuhusu mambo mengine kama bookkeeping kwa hapo sasa watutaelewa wa mambo waelewa kwamba wanaweka profit ama wanaenda loss na pia about insurance whether we can be covered by insurance or not we can support these women entrepreneurs financially by fostering collaboration among all stakeholders in the ecosystem and providing them with business education, mentorship, access to market information and networking opportunities. This will pave way for a more inclusive and prosperous future for these hard-working women and their families. Busia is a border country and we have uh, less uh, infrastructure in terms of markets because our markets uh, are not enough for everybody so we call upon any partner that is ready to come up with a infrastructure development partner with the county government of busia to ensure that our traders are in a conducive uh, business environment equity bank to be specific we've come through to support them and we now strictly engage on ability to pay and uh, not about uh, collateral because uh, what pays the loan is the cash flow so far we've seen some good good um, strides and uh, this impacts positively to the businesses sometimes the regulatory environment around certain commodities also like fish are very sens- sensitive or very expensive because the regulations keep changing it's not predictable you can't predict how you're going to do your business And so that's important also to ensure that the regulations are clear there is transparency and there's consistency in how uh, the standards are being applied to the different traders. MSC has worked to empower women in open air and cross border trade in Kenya and East Africa through this project. We have aligned with financial service providers to increase access to affordable, accessible and convenient digital financing to help these women grow their turnovers. In addition, we have helped them to unearth ongoing and future business threats including inflation, currency devaluation, and soaring interest rates. In partnership with the counties, we have uncovered opportunities to extend the financial inclusion frontier for women, youth, and other underserved persons in Kenya. To learn more about our work, please visit our website at www.microsave.net